All right, so you might be wondering what I'm doing here on a dark street in my Porsche 356, but I actually want to measure the existing six volt headlights because I'm gonna do an LED headlight upgrade. Hey, what's up? So you probably know that I love my 356 and I love driving it, but driving at night is a little bit sketchy because the headlights are terrible. And well, I think it's important for you to be able to see at night and for people to be able to see you when you're driving. This car still has the six volt electrical system, but that system is from an era when lighting standards were just a bit different from today. Or maybe people just had better night vision back then. I mean, who knows? So I went ahead and I installed some LED headlights in this, hoping it would solve my problem. And today I'm gonna to answer for you, one, are they brighter? Two, are they easy to install? Three, do they look stock and kind of period correct? Now this is not a paid product, placement or anything like that. I actually got these headlights for Christmas from my father. Thank you, dad. And I will spare you the anticipation. They are definitely brighter. By my measurements, which I'm gonna show in the video, they are at least two to three times brighter than the original bulbs that were in there. But why did I go with these lights from Vintage Trader rather than any of the multitude of other H4 seven inch LED bulbs that you could just pick up on Amazon? The first thing was the look. I wanted headlights that looked period correct, and a lot of the ones that are available on Amazon, they just look too modern for a vintage car like this. Now, one of the things that I liked about these headlights was that the pattern on the bulb itself, kind of the lens of the bulb, looked like the original ones did. It had the same kind of lines and patterns in it, um, just like you would find on the original cars. The other thing was when you actually turn on these lights, they have that kind of vintage yellowish look to the light. They don't look super modern like an LED or like a halogen light. They actually look like they're supposed to look both when they're on and when they're off. So I'm gonna take about three steps. One, three, and we're gonna measure. So let's take a look here at these new headlights, the replacement bulbs. Got some instructions here. Very nicely packaged. Ooh, uh, let's get these out of the packaging so we can take a better look. Very simple design. It says Hella on it, just like a lot of the OEM ones did, but is LED. Part number, special lens, and it's got the original three prong style connector, so really should just be plug and play. The headlights are super easy to remove. All you need is a flat blade screwdriver, take out the screw at the bottom, and then disconnect the connector behind the bulb. Mine had this little spacer behind the screw as well, and I don't know if that's stock. So after you get the bulb out, what you wanna do is remove these clips. Always wear safety glasses too, because these things might go flying. The easiest way to do it is hold it on the big arch side and then push down on this side. These are all individual clips. Once you have that, 
you've got this ring around here and it's oriented around these notches here. And this ring is what kind of the clips go on to to apply pressure to hold this in. So the whole thing will just lift out like this. And then this ring will actually come off. And remember that this face is down, not up. You can tell because these little tabs go into little holes in there. So then we've got our very old sealed beam GE bulb here. It's the original. And then for comparison, we've got the new LED bulb with a very, very similar pattern to it. It is, I will note, that the LED bulb is not quite as domed. It's actually much flatter than the original bulb. I'm actually gonna clean the inside of this a little bit with some quick detailer spray on the outside. And then the way you're gonna wanna orient it is um, if you want the lettering to be the correct way up, remember that the screw part where it attaches is actually at the bottom. So we're going to put the ring around it. Okay. Don't hold it by this, hold it, hold it by the more secure part here. We've got this and look for where those go. Should help you line it up correctly for the right orientation. As you get those little notches lined up inside there, then you can start to put these back in. And the easiest way to do that, you wanna make sure that this part is resting, this little bent part is resting on the ring itself. So I found that it's easiest to put your thumb on that, put that one in. And there you go, pretty much all secured in got all of our clips in and that is what it looks like. Once you have that new LED bulb inside the housing, replacing the light is almost as easy as taking it off. You basically just make sure everything's lined up and make sure that the outer housing isn't pinching the gasket uh, for the headlight or anything like that. And then you just insert that screw at the bottom and screw it in. That will hold it securely in place. Remember not to over tighten this. All right, so you saw it. those lights, the LEDs are definitely brighter. I, th I think there was something wrong with my driver's side light, which was only registering around like 500, 600 lux. But um, the other side was re registering around 1500. And both of them with the new LEDs were registering around 3000 to 4000 lux. So on the driver's side, it's like a 6x increase, at least 7x. Um, and on the other side, it's probably about a, it's probably about a two or three X increase, but big noticeable difference in the light coverage. And I haven't even aimed these things. I haven't gone through the aiming process to get them all aligned properly. Um, I think that'll make a big difference too. This is a very simple job and anyone can do it. If you know how to operate a screwdriver, you could definitely change the bulbs on a 356. This is one of those little modifications or improvements that makes the car more usable. It's gonna allow me to drive the car at night more frequently and more safely. And anytime I'm doing more driving, I think that's a win. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you found the video helpful, useful, informative, whatever. If you like this stuff, subscribe to the channel. Thanks.